Close your eyes, watch your breath. Maintain the intention to stay with the breath, because our intentions are one of the forms of food for the mind. The Buddha says the mind has three kinds of food. There's the food of sensory contact, there's the food of consciousness. Most important of all is the food of intention. You want to make sure that you're eating healthy food. As the contacts that come in from outside and your awareness of those things, those just depend on a lot of outside factors that you can't control. But your intentions are something you can control. This is the food coming out of your own kitchen. So you want to make sure you fix it well. You train it in the direction of generosity, you train it in the direction of virtue, and particularly in the direction of meditation. Like right now you've made up your mind to stay with the breath. Well, stick with that intention because it's a good intention. It's healthy food for the mind. If you allow other intentions to come in, well, you'll be feeding off of those other intentions. And we can't guarantee that it's going to be good for you because some things are tasty, but they create trouble as they go down into your digestive tract. In the same way, there are things that are good to think about, they're fun to think about, but if you actually act on them, they're going to cause a lot of trouble. So you have to be careful about where your mind goes. You want to be able to train it so that it'll think the thoughts you want it to think and doesn't think the thoughts you don't want it to think. And you really get wise about what you should want to think. You begin to realize that some things you'd like to think are not going to be good for you. Well, you have to learn how to do without that kind of food, because there are lots of better foods in the world. Like right now, the food of concentration. This gives real nourishment to the mind because it puts you on the path. And you bring this together with the right view, and you realize okay, that there may be suffering in the mind, suffering in the heart, but it doesn't have to be there. This is the difference between the suffering and the three characteristics and the suffering and the Four Noble Truths. Three characteristics, the pain of change, it's going to be there all the time comes and goes, comes and goes, but it's something you can't stop. It's just built into the way things are. But the pain and suffering that come from craving and the Four Noble Truths, that's something you have some power over. So you get the mind on the path. Feed the mind with good concentration. Feed the mind with good views, good intentions. And you find that it gets stronger day by day. It can stand on its own two feet. It can depend on itself. Because it knows what kind of food to eat, what kind of food not to eat, and allows that knowledge to shape its decisions as where it's going to look for its nourishment. Look for nourishment in generosity, look for nourishment in virtue, look for nourishment in meditation. The food you find there is going to be good for you. You're going to make sure that your, your mind is strong. The body gets weaker as you get older. But the mind doesn't have to get weak. It can stay strong in its goodness. So always be confident in that fact.